Hello, welcome to episode 296. We're going to be phasing through blocks. Now, ideally, this really works with um, transparent blocks, because if you phase inside a solid block, you're going to suffocate. So I've got myself some tinted glass. Who knows what's on the other side? Something exciting. We can think of it as like a mob barrier, uh, or maybe a player barrier, really. Uh, so let's get myself um, a carrot on a stick. So we've got two versions here. We've got one where we have to stand here and use a carrot on a stick. We right click, thump, and we're through. Nice. And we've also got a version. So this that's the controller for carrot on a stick. That's it, it's just those two blocks. But we've also got a sneak version and we don't even need the carrot on a stick. Let's throw it away. And we can just sneak through, just a little tap. As we come up to the glass, we just do a little tap on the sneak and through we go. If we're pointing down, too far, not gonna work. We're gonna have to be going up to about at least there. Okay, that's what we're going to be making today. Two different ways, one with a carrot and a stick, one just by sneaking, that we can phase through some tinted glass or pretty much any transparent block, I should imagine. You can experiment with it. But let's build that now. Okay, the first thing we're going to need is a scoreboard objective, as we so often do. Let's pop one down here. This will be my setup. Okay, and pop the button on top. And we will have scoreboard, objectives, add. Um, what should we call this? We call it phase. And it will be of type used. Carrot on a stick. Good old carrot on a stick. Done. Set up. Let's make a little controller. Put a lever on top of that. This will be our controller. And repeat. We are going to execute as any player whose scores equal, uh, we call it phase equals one or higher. Yeah. And the MBT equals selected item. And we want to check the tag on the selected item. And we want, let's say, phase dot controller. Oh. Okay, well, it's not happy. What have I done wrong? We've made a mistake already. Let's have a look. Execute as all players. Scores equals phase equals one or higher. Yeah, that is definitely a comma. Yes, NBT equals selected item. Open, tag, open, phase dot controller. So there's a mistake here. Well, we can't have dot. There we go. It's not supposed to be a dot. It's supposed to be a colon. Sometimes it's the things you've done so many times before that you just, you know, you just get wrong. There we go. There's there's our custom tag, phase colon controller. Much better. At that player. So at S, at the person who's executing the command. If the block in front of them and it's at their feet. That's where we're executing at their feet by default. So we'll go up a little bit as well. So let's use the carrots and we'll go, we'll go up a little bit. And we'll go in front of them a little bit. If that block is tinted glass, well, that's good. That's checking that my legs and feet can go through. But we better check if my head can go through as well. So let's do another if block. And this time we'll say, instead of being 0 0.5 up, we'll say 1.5 up. So now we're going to be checking around the head area and 0 0.5 in front. So if we have glass in front of our feet and glass in front of our head, then really we're just going to teleport the player into the glass. Oops, we better say tinted glass there. There we go. So tinted glass in front of my feet and my head. Then I'm going to teleport the player into the glass. Once they're in, they can get out. So we'll just teleport them in. So we'll... I think I'll teleport them up a tiny bit off the ground. You won't even notice that. 
and we'll teleport them forwards just a tiny bit as well. Um, actually, I think I think we'll go even smaller. I think we'll go tiny, tiny. Let's try this. Okay, we can change the fig the numbers at any time, obviously. And now we better reset the sneak score. So scoreboard players all player uh, oh, reset all players at uh, phase are done uh, let's be helpful if we actually had the item so let's give ourselves a little uh, carrot on a stick give carrot on a stick so we just want to give the nearest player a carrot on a stick and we need to give it that custom tag which we did phase colon controller are done and then I better get myself some tinted glass can't can't end to see it on the on the gray background there it is okay let's put this down let's make a little doorway okay right we've got let's get our Make sure that's on. Make sure that's on. Give ourselves one of them. Can we now right click whoop, and just pop through the glass? That's pretty nice. We could probably stop inside it. There we go. We can stop inside it. That's pretty cool. Now we can't, I don't think we'll be able to walk around. For instance, if we have this, we're not going to be able to phase inside, right click, and then go that way because this middle glass block, we're still going against its edge from the outside. We can probably phase into it by right clicking again. Yeah, yeah, we can move through if we keep right clicking. And that's pretty cool. Okay. Job done. Um actually let's make it so you don't even need the item. Let's 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 make a sneaking version. Because if you're running away and you have to switch to another item, that's that's a bit slow. Let's make control middle mouse chain always active. Let's add a new uh, let's do an is sneaking. Uh, what type is that? It's custom, isn't it? It's a custom colon and it's sneak time, I believe. Done. So let's turn this controller off. But I think what I'll do is I'll clear my inventory. And I'm going to copy all of that and all of that. And I better get myself a lever and a sign. Pop that there, pop that there. So this is the controller for sneak. Okay, so resetting the score. Okay, well we don't want to reset the score. We better also make sure we boink is sneaking. So we reset the is sneaking score. Let's go right to the beginning here and change this score to is sneaking there we go yeah, if we just do that we would need to use the item and be sneaking but we could use yeah we, no we don't want that we don't want that let's uh let's get rid of this yeah we'd need to be holding the carrot on a stick that has the tag and be sneaking. We wouldn't have had to use the carrot on a stick though. Let's, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to keep that in there for now. Let's say done. And let's let's check that. So let's right click. Nothing happens. Let's shift, and I'm through. Okay. What if I'm not you holding it? Yeah. Nothing happens. Okay. So now you need to be holding it, but you don't have to click. But you do have to you do have to shift. So let's get rid of that MBT that says we're holding it. We don't even want that. Here it is. NBT select that. Let's get rid of all of that. There we go. We'll just check if they're sneaking. Clear. Now we should just be able to run up to it and just do a little bit of a shift, and we're through. That's that's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. I like it. It'd be quite nice if you can have um, you could have a mob farm in there, and because you know, it's tinted glass, it would be dark inside, the mobs would spawn, but if for some reason you wanted to go into the mob farm, all you'd have to do is 
go up against the glass and do a little bit of a shift. What happens if we do it from, what happens if we point straight down almost? I don't think we'll get in there. No, because we're looking through the glass. Okay, that's, that's good. Okay, what about up? That'll be the same. Yeah. What about sideways? Oh, we're getting a bit sideways. Not there though. That's pretty robust. Okay, yeah, I like in that. There we go. There we are. We've got a um, couple of ways that we can uh, phase through blocks. Now, I'm pretty sure that you could do this for any block. In fact, let's do a little test. Might as well test while we're here. Let's keep this version of just sneaking. And let's change it to grey wool. Let's change it to grey wool for both. Make sure we do both. Oh, well, you don't have to. You could have it so you have to have grey wool at the bottom and red wool at the top. Because you've got like a sort of only one certain way the wool can be placed for you to get through. But now we should be able to go through the grey wool. Yeah, now look at that. There's a bit of a problem there, though. So I think this is something really only for transparent blocks. Let's make this a bit wider. So we've got plenty of space to get through. So I press shift. I'm inside. It's not happy. So if we were in survival and we try to go through this, yeah, okay, it doesn't like that. But if we save it for well, one of them, one of them, turn you off. If we save it for tinted glass, there we go. We can stand inside transparent box and we don't suffocate. So I think this is uh, only usable for transparent blocks, really. Okay, now you could add more checks if you wanted to. Up to you. Like I said, you could have it so it only works maybe if you have um, you have tinted glass there and the top one has to be glass. That's easy enough. It's easy enough if you're in creative. Let's try it. Top one has to be glass. Bottom one has to be tinted glass. Okay, let's try that. Turn that one on, turn that one off, get ourselves some glass. I'm just going to type in ass. There we go. And let's put that there. Okay, let's try. Which one are we using? Carrot on a stick or sneak? We're using sneak, I think. That's why we label them sneak, yeah. So we can't go through here anymore. We can't go through here, but we can go through that one. Cool. Okay, that's enough playing around. Right, I'll see you later. That's how we get ourselves a little uh, little bit of phasing through some transparent blocks. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.